All right, guys, so we are back with a brand new video. So before I move on to React, I wanted to show you something pretty cool that other things that you could do with uh, EJS. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dynamically render all of the guilds that the Discord user is in. Okay, the one that the Discord user that authenticated themselves uh, with our application. So in our strategy, you can see that over here in the scope, we specify two scopes, identify and guilds. And if we wanted their email, we could pass that in as well, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so we're not really doing anything with the guilds. So let's actually save that to the database. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into the models. And this guilds field is actually an array. So we're going to do guilds. And we're going to do type array required true. Okay, so uh, in terms of updating this now, because we are probably going to have an issue with our uh, user, I think what's best is we actually need to, uh, because right now if we find our user, it's gonna see users, on the, it's gonna find them, right? But their guilds are not gonna be inside the in the document. So we need to actually, we're gonna delete the, the user from our database and we're gonna just re, like re uh, create our user. So we're gonna first say profile.guilds and this is basically an array and we're gonna save. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go inside my MongoDB database and we're gonna do, what was it? Use, was it discord auth show tables? db.users.find okay so we're gonna go ahead and just drop the users collection just so we can kind of like restore our table so that way when we log in again it's gonna have the guilds in the documents because that's what we really want okay and that's going to be added through this field over here oh actually I just realized um over here, I said guild, but it should be guilds. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Okay, so we should be good. All right, let's go back here. Let's log into Discord or log in with Discord. And if I go here, there we go. We have our guilds. And if I want to view it in an actual decent way, you can do db.users.find pretty. And you can kind of see all the guilds that I'm in. You can see uh, it's an array of objects. So you can see the ID, uh, the name of the guild, the owner, permissions, features. And over here, ID, name, icon, owner. Um, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of guilds that I'm in. Let's actually go ahead and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to dynamically render this to the front end. And we're going to actually make it look pretty nice. So let me see. Where are we? Okay. So when we've logged in, right, we are on the dashboard route. We redirect to the dashboard route. So on the dashboard, uh, first, let me do this. I'm going to go back into my code and I'm going to move this button somewhere else uh let's see log out button i don't want it to be in the center i'm gonna probably just move it um i think no i don't want it, i don't want it up there where's my css okay uh let's see my logo button i'm not the great the greatest with the css so bear with me And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do my custom button. And uh, let's see. I wanna make this, I definitely wanna make this a little bit smaller. So refresh. And we'll change this to that. Okay, and I probably could, you know what? Let me actually do this. Let me go to docs. And let me actually just, I wanna actually make this look a little bit decent. Uh, even though we aren't, even though we're like my plan isn't supposed to spend so much time on uh, Express for the front end, 
because I wanted I really wanted to move on to React in the front end. But I'm primarily doing this so that people who aren't really so great with React will have something to actually, you know, work with in uh in Express. So even if you're not the greatest with React, you can at least use to uh you can at least use Express to kind of like start somewhere. So um okay. Yeah, so what I'll do is I will I'll just use this navigation bar right up here. So basically what I had uh, before, and I'll put this inside a partials. So, and then I will go ahead and let's just put that there. Let's include it. So we're gonna do include partials nav. Oops. Okay, so we have our. If I log out, okay, log in. Cool. And obviously, we need to get rid of the other buttons as well. So we're gonna get rid of sign out, and we'll get rid of login, and we'll just change that to the log out button. So I'm gonna move that over here. There we go. So it kind of looks a lot more decent. So it's not just like it's sitting in the middle. Okay, and let's see. I think that itself should be good. Let's. I'm gonna actually just delete this right over here because we don't really need that. Delete this. Okay. Cool. Oh, whoops. All right. So now what we could do is we could do a couple things. We can actually uh, first let me delete this. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's first render the user's username to the front end. And when I when I say that, I'm not saying that we're going to just put a simple uh, h1 tag and put in our username what i want to do is whoever is logged in i want their user's name to be displayed up here so notice how sometimes when you're logged into like facebook or instagram it will show you your username or your display name on one of on your profile we're going to do the same thing okay so the way that you can do that is by passing in uh, an object into the template engine and then rendering it. Or I'm sorry, to passing it to the template and then rendering it. So let's see. We want to make sure that we pass it into, it reaches this navbar component over here. So let me first figure out where I want to put it. I'll probably put it right up over here. So if I want to do like an H1 hello, Oh, that doesn't look good. No. Let's try this. That looks so much better. Okay, great. And we can delete uh, this. Oh, this is for the responsiveness. Okay. We're not going to worry about that. Let me just delete that. And we'll get rid of this. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do here is I want to render out the user's name. The user's name. So... This is how you render out the name. You do less than symbol percent equals and then the property that you want to render out. And in the front end, we're going to have to render it. Or I'm sorry, not the front end. We're in the back end. We're going to have to pass that in. So right over here, we're going to have to specify an object and we're going to do uh, username, req.user. And the user itself has the property username because that's the same thing as our uh, this our uh, model, this Discord user model. We can also pass in the ID as well. So we can do um, Discord ID rec dot user dot Discord ID. Okay, and now let's close that. And where else are we rendering dashboard? Nowhere else. Okay, so that should be good. Um. Okay, should be just right here. Okay, perfect. So now, since so we have we have dashboard.js, right? We're rendering dashboard ejs, and we're also rendering all three of these partials. Now nav is being rendered, so these these values are going to be passed into nav right over here because we're using it in here because nav is a component inside dashboard.ejs, so we can reference it right over here. So if I save and if I refresh and let's log in again. You're going to see it says my username up there. Okay. It doesn't say the tag. Uh, did I not save the tag? I probably didn't save the tag. 
uh, yeah, I didn't. Okay, but you get the idea. And now I can also reload up the ID as well. So I can do that. So let's just put that over here. So let's do angle brackets, zoom in, uh, Discord ID. And you can see how cool this is. I can pass in data from the back end to the front end. And that's how you would do it in, e in Express with EJS. And you can see that. You can see that um, that's my ID over there. Okay, obviously, I don't want to uh, just like leave it over there. So we can just say welcome back. So pretty much this is how websites, you know, know who's logged in and whatnot, right? They pretty much send the data from the back into the front end and they have cookies stored on the browser and that cookie is exchanged with the server for information, okay? So this cookie right over here is used to exchange with the backend to get the correct information of the user. And then we get a response from the backend and then we get our user team over there. Pretty cool. All right, so uh, let's see. Now let's actually go ahead and render the guilds. I'm gonna probably do that inside here. So we'll do a simple div and let's pass in the guilds now. So we're gonna do guilds uh, and user guilds okay so we're gonna go ahead and create uh, a component or a template when i say component i really mean a separate template file okay i'm just calling it component because i'm very used to the popular javascript frameworks like react angular view but it's okay to think of it as a component because realistically um they really are components so i'm trying to think of the best component we can use to render these things but you can honestly use whatever you want doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess I'll probably use maybe a box. I don't even know what I want to use. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, you know what? Let's 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 go with this. Let's go with this. I like this. Uh, so I'm gonna paste that in there. So uh, let's refresh. Okay. Uh, first, what I'm gonna do is let me actually do this. I'm gonna move this in its own components. So first we're going to do guild.ejs. We're going to move that there. Okay. And this is just a bunch of HTML, nothing too crazy. And you can see that we have a placeholder. Instead of that placeholder of the image, we're going to use the guilds icon. So um, let me go ahead and get rid of this. We're just going to replace this with the discord guild icon. So now for the text, uh, what do I want to do for the text? Let's see. Um, Okay, why don't I do this? For each guild, what I want to do is I basically want to render all the data that you saw on the back end. So the, the name of the guild, the icon, um, and I guess maybe we could um, do a bunch of other stuff too. But for now, we'll just do, we'll just do name, ID, and um, owner, I guess. Okay. All right, so first let's do this. Let's first dynamically render the amount of guild templates that we need. So in this case, I'm in, I think, 18 guilds. So we have a total of, um, we have a total of 18 guilds to be rendered. So we're going to go ahead and use some EJS. So we're going to go ahead and say guilds dot for each. Now let me actually show you this real quick. So if I actually just try to render guilds to the dashboard EJS, Notice how it says object, right? So we need to actually kind of like destructure all of our values. So we're gonna do guild stop for each guild. And we're gonna go ahead and just close that curly brace and parentheses down there. So again, it's like literally like JavaScript, but instead it's just embedded inside some like angle brackets and HTML. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to go ahead and, so for each guild, what I wanna do is I wanna include um, this guild EJ's partial. So partials guild. So now, now it's gonna actually render 18 of these. Uh, what was going on? Oh, I think that, I think it might be this actually. All right, there we go. So notice how you see we have all of these guilds over here. And obviously 
it's saying the data that we have rendered over here. So we need to actually replace a lot of this static data with the dynamic data that we are trying to render. Okay, so we just want to pass in the guild object into our partial. So we basically want to loop through the guilds array that we're passing in from dashboard.js into dashboard.ejs. And then we want to pass, we want to loop through that guilds array. And for each guild, we want to include the partial. So we're basically rendering its own partial. And then we're going to pass in the guild object. So inside here, we can now reference properties that are on the guild object. So for example, guild.name uh, equal sign right over there. And we'll put the ID over there as well. Okay, and I'll get rid of this and I'll get rid of this. And if I let me just refresh, you're going to see we have all the guilds that I'm in. If we want to get the image of the guild, we can go ahead and use EGS to do that as well. So uh, there's actually a URL that we have to resolve. Um, we have to go to this base URL. So let me go ahead and uh, paste that in real quick. Okay. And it's guild underscore icons. So it's eight. So it's cdn.discordapp.com slash guild underscore where I know it's uh whoops, it's icons actually. Icons and then the guild ID. So we can do guild ID slash uh guild icon dot png. So remember this is the guild object. The guild object has the icon property, which is the hash of the icon. So we're gonna do guild dot icon and then dot png. And if I go here, refresh, we have all of our, uh, we have all the guilds that I'm in. Pretty cool. All right, so now what's next is we can now also render out the features of the guild. So I'm gonna do that down here. So I'll do, uh, let's see, guild dot features for each because features is an array we're going to loop through each feature so we're going to do uh we're going to close that tag we're going to close the curly brace and the parentheses down there and we'll use a, a u actually we'll use an unordered list so let me actually do this and paste that there and then we'll just do a feature Oh, I'm sorry, wait, it's angle brackets. We always have to use this angle brackets in order to render the data that we want. Otherwise, it's going to actually render the actual, you know, string feature. And there you go. Cool. That's pretty much it for, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, you can be creative with this too. Um, you can also render, like I said, you can render whatever you want. You can start to filter out uh, guilds that are that belong to the. That you can start to filter out guilds that are that the user is an owner of, and a whole bunch of stuff. So hopefully this video helped you guys out, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.